paper, my white paper, and first of all, let's talk about the paper. Because the paper is a cancel marker paper. This is very important. Because if we use uh, this paper, which is copy paper, okay, Xerox copy, this is not good for, uh, for chalk application. We need a, a paper that has uh, really a smooth, nice surface. And therefore, we have this cancel paper, which is a marker paper, very nice, very soft, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing, we need chalk. And here I have a palette of chalk sticks that I, I took from my main box. And the chalk uh, must be New Pastel Prismacolor. I will show you the box of my pastel, which is this one. Okay, those are all my pastel, as you can see. Okay, those are the right ones that you should buy. You can buy also the small box. You don't need to buy the big one as I did. Okay, you need the small one. But remember, it has to be Prismacolor New Pastel. Okay, that's, that's very important. That's very important. Okay, so this is uh, about the chalk. Now, I will show you another thing. To do this correctly, you need the baby powder, okay? And that's very important because we're gonna mix the baby powder with the chalk because we want to make sure that the dust of the color is not too rough and scratching the paper, but it's kind of soft. That's why we need this as a softener in a way. Then we need, of course, a cotton pad, okay? That we will use to apply the chalk. And then we need a spray fixative because we need to build up layers. And this is the same fixative it's used uh, on uh, charcoal uh, sketches, okay? So it's the same one. Uh, we gonna, you, you will see how I do it, okay? But it's, uh, we don't need to use a lot, just the necessary. And this will help you to build up the layers to make sure that... Uh, uh, a color we use can become darker. But the big problem of chalks is that uh, when we apply the chalk, then it doesn't become darker. And we need that type of grading, you know, the type of shading. So those are the tools. And now I show you how I prepare, how I prepare my palette. That's another thing very important. So I take a, uh, the blade of an exacto knife as you can see this one very simple then i take a, a blue dark blue indigo blue color from my new pastel set okay and i start very gently making you know scraping the surface so that i can get a nice powder that is not too thick okay that's very important you see so this is the first thing you have to learn how to do because some people make big particles and of course it's not gonna work that way you want to make sure everything is very fine very very fine okay okay now we have enough there after i do that what do i do i take my baby powder and i put a little bit on the side okay you see, here we have it. Now I will take the whole thing closer to the camera so that you can see better. You see? So now we have the chalk and the baby powder. And now we have our cotton pad. And when we use a cotton pad, we have to be very careful the way we use it because it, we can, yes, we can put the the mix on the cotton pad but if we use in a wrong way onto our sketch it's not gonna work believe me so how do i do first of all i take the smooth part and not this one with the lines you see take the other side which is smooth okay so i bend it once and twice so i get a quarter right this is nice and soft. Then I put my finger that way and this way in the back. 
and I will use this top part with the chalk, mixing the chalk, onto my sketch, okay? Now, before I do that, let's make the sketch, okay? So, I, I place this here for, for the moment. I go back to my paper. I have a nice pencil with a nice sharp, sharp point. And I will make my sketch, okay? Let's do it. So I put a ground line. Put my wheels. And I will work really light because I will do the line work after that my chalk activity will be finished. Okay? Because I will use the line work also to clean up the sketch. Put the reflections, the wheel well. I do a sketch very similar to the one I saw in the video of, uh, of the, the, the guy that showed me its video saying that he was having some problems. So that uh, this demo can really be very useful to him and to all of you. Okay, so now we have the main lines, all right? So now I will take a marker, I will do the marker part, and after the marker, I will use the chalk, okay? So let's take a marker, all right? Uh, I'm searching for a nice marker. Let's use... Uh, a light uh, blue marker. Okay, I'm searching for my markers. Okay, so here are the markers that I selected. Because we have a blue chalk up there, we're going to use blue markers, okay? This way it's going to be, I think it's going to be better. So I will start, of course, with the light one, the medium one, and the dark one, okay? But with the dark one, I will do first the reflection on the glass and the shadow and the wheels, okay? Let's do it. So that's my glass reflection. Here I have a little bit of reflection of the windshield. Okay. Now, let's do the wheels. And now I will do the shadow.
going to make sure that this is kind of dark i let it dry a little bit and then i go back to make sure that i i do have that dark feeling also in this area okay now the last thing i would like to do is also here to create a little bit better contrast okay so here we go we have all the dark value already set up ciao nika what card do you draw i'm just making a side view because i will use chalk okay this is just a simple side view just to give you guys an idea of how to use chalk correctly because this was the request of this week so i put my reflection All right. So now we are starting to see the car much, much better. Now I take my medium light blue, okay? And I will make the darker part of this reflection. I think that I need to put some, it's a little dry. Okay, it's not, that's not a big problem. Okay, can you see? Uh, Rajat, if you want to check, you can check my video how I made a, a black car. Uh, there is a video how to render a black car with chalk. Okay, there is a video here, so you can you can check that one. Ciao, Eric. Eric Civil. Ciao. Okay, so now that I have done that, I have to look for this one that is a little bit darker you see it much better now You see now now you see the car okay so let's say that this is you know our base now the last thing i would like to do is to take a, a, a gray number 10 this is a gray cool gray number 10 okay and i'm gonna use that one okay Raja. okay that's a good thing bravo and I just put it a little bit in the shadow area to make sure that this part is really dark. But that's really in shadow. We cannot see down there. And also here, 
You see? A little bit there. Okay, you see now we have a really good contrast. There is a good depth, as you can see. Just a second. All right, so now what are we going to do? Now I'm going to mix my chalk, okay? And I will show you how I do it. Okay? So I take a little bit of the baby powder that I have here. Then I go on to the blue and I mix them. Look. Look how nice. You see? And that's how it, it is on my pad. But this is just to mix. Now what do I do? I will touch with this part of the pad. Okay? Because what I want to do, I want to create a nice, a nice color on top, because that's the part that will touch first the paper. Let's do it. Okay, so, follow me. All right, so this is the, the first layer, you see? This is just the first layer. So what do I do now with a nice brush? This is a drawing brush. I clean up the surface and then I take my spray fixative and I fix this to fix my first layer. There you go, done. Now let's wait, okay? Because now it's nice and fresh. We have to wait for that so that it's really dry. At the same time, I take my pad, my cotton pad, and I mix again my color blue the way I did before because now I want to get the dark part of the blue. Okay, so let's try. And I put it a little bit also onto the marker, but be careful. I don't, I don't touch the white of the paper there. I don't want to touch that white space. Okay. But that's what gives me the reflection. Okay, spray fix. Uh, Raja, DLO, it's the greenhouse.
Sometimes DLO is also the back window. It depends. In general, when we talk about DLO, it's the greenhouse, the glass area. And in some cases, also at work, when we talk about the DLO, we are talking about the back window, for example, of an LCV, you know, an LCV uh, car, vehicle. All right, now I, I turn this way wide because I don't want to touch that wide. So I will work this way, look. And I'm always very careful in mixing the color really well. Can you see now? Now it looks much, much better than before. I spray fixed again and let it dry. And we're going to do another layer. Look already. You see, it's not bad already as a result, but we have still few things to do to make sure that uh, it looks much better, okay? So now a way that is dry. A little bit here because we want to make sure that we get the same tone value same tone value of blue okay okay so now I spray fix and we are finished with the chalk I let it dry, I take this off so that I can have more space on my table. Make sure that when you work, you have the right space on your table, unless everything starts coming on top of your drawing and then you cannot move anymore. Okay. So I take this away. All right. So now what are we gonna do? Now we're gonna work about the line work we have to do some good line work so i take my pencil it's a little small sorry <laughs> it's almost finished with a nice point sharp point and i start working line work okay You see how nice. I fix a little bit my reflection line.
You see? Now we have a nice contrast. We have a clear reflection on the body and on the glass. Now we work a little bit the transparency on the glass. So first of all, I put a sort of a line, cut line. Then I put my other cut line here in the front. Okay, now we're starting to have a car. All right. And I have to take again my dark number 10 gray cool gray to show transparency of my b pillar okay you see now we have a b pillar there Rajat, of course you can design a car with a very emotional design today. Why not? You can. What is important is what you believe in. No, that's very important. All right, so now... Let's take a marker. And let's make a little bit of the wheel design. You see, I'm trying to make it darker because of the shadow. Same thing here. Then I'll use my... Hi, only striker. How are you? Welcome back. Now I will use my dark blue. Okay. And I will make very simple graphics following the perspective. Okay, let's do the same exercise here. Then I take my number 10 gray again and I make the holes. So it's the darkest spot. Okay, I show you closer. Can you see the difference between the blue and the, and the dark gray? Now, to make sure that I have a really nice contrast, I will take the black color. 
using black. And I really make the darkest ultra dark spot because that will help me to have a very nice contrast and more depth. Black here. and black here on the belt line then we put a little bit of black inside the wheel well here too then we take our gray and we mix it we blend it you see look now we have our car now the only thing left is to put a little bit of highlights and we can say that the exercise it's done if the wheels of the car are concave type then why don't the blue reflection of the sky come from the lower part of the wheel now this section this section is this like this one look look You see? And then here we have the, the tie. So, because it's like that, the light is coming from the top, so all this area is in shadow. And the light, it's here. You understand? Look. Okay, Rajat? I think it's clear like that. Okay. All right, now, now I take a white pencil, make the point, there you go, and I'll just add a little bit of highlights. then what do i do i put a little bit of this feeling of light reflection on the glass area just a little bit in the center you see i'm playing transparency so i'm not putting everything white look look what nice effect it really it really looks like uh, there is a light reflection or blurring of light on top of the glass then a little line there and a little bit down here then we can do a little bit on the wheel All right, so now it's the moment, the magic moment that we have to take our brush, our acrylic white, and put the, the last highlights to make sure that uh, everything's done. 
Ah, Raja. No, 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 no. I was using the blue because it's the the color of the of the car, and therefore, if it's a light blue there, because of the shadow, it's gonna be a darker blue. That's why. Okay, I'm trying to to get this white out. All right, so ready. Remember always elliptical. And always across, you know, in the middle, between reflection and white. Same thing I will do here. This one will be bigger. Then I had to put one down here. Then a little dot there. You see, it's now it's becoming really sparkling. Then a little one here, little one there, little one here, and then onto the wheel. You see, I make those little dots that are a little bit like you know the, the tire, the rubber part where there is a little bit of a highlight. I'm using that white line, a very light line that I put as a guide. Now that the, the acrylic is dry here, I go again to make sure it's really white. Here too. Okay, I go and wash my brush, okay? You watch. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now, once we did this, we can always improve, of course. Yeah, the white gel, I have it, but to be honest, uh, uh, it's not really the best choice. So I use this blue that is darker, okay, it's darker. And I use on top of that one. Because it will give me a better contrast. You see, it's much better, it's crisp, it looks better.
look you see that that dark this darker blue works much better to add a really nice contrast why should we add the white paint near to the belt line the biggest one this one because very simple Fernandez come stars no watercolors demos no 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 Fernandez no I don't I think it looks good for backgrounds yeah it could be but uh Fetty, I, I never use watercolor because then the paper it's gonna you know it's not gonna be really nice Thank you, only striker. Eric, very interesting you, your work on the light and reflects on the car. Thank you very much, uh, Eric. Okay, now there is another thing we have to add. Let me take the right pencil. This one. No, not this one. This one. A little bit of backlight. All right, so this one and also this one, I explain to you why. So Rajat, now follow me, okay? Or everybody, but Rajat, especially you. I take, I make a cylinder okay this is a cylinder and this is going to be a glossy cylinder okay glossy so with reflection so the section of the cylinder it's like this no it's the same section or very similar to this part of the car you see because all this it's a cylinder and the top part where are the glass where is the glass area it's another cylinder different cylinder but it is a cylinder so let's study the cylinder to understand why I put the reflection this way and why I put the white spot exactly in that point, okay? Now, if I take uh, my marker, I do my... reflection all right and on top there is a little bit of reflection just a little bit then I have the shadow of my cylinder which is this one you see now let's put on this cylinder the sky okay I'll be very fast huh? All right, prefix. Okay, then I take my number 10, which is almost black, okay, almost black. 
and I do the darkest part of my reflection. The top. Then I take the black, and with the black, I do really the darkest, ultra dark spot of my reflection. And then I do also down here because it's a shadow. And also on top there because that's also reflection. You see? Now, to finish, let's make the second layer of our sky tone. And a little bit there too. You see, it gets darker because I put the spray fix. That's why. Now I'll spray fix again. All right. Now there are two things very important that you guys have to remember. This part has a section that is flat, you know, and because of that is like a mirror. Therefore, we have the reflection of the ground reflecting inside this surface. And that's why I put this. Check it out. You see, that's the reflection of the shadow on the ground, reflecting back to that surface which is flat. It's a real mirror. But here, the section, we said it's like a circle. It's round. Therefore, all the images that we have in front of this cylinder and on the other side are very compressed. And that's why we have this. And we have that line. And that's why we have the core or the sky tone that is very concentrated in this area, which is the maximum roundness spot, rounded spot of the cylinder. And then it goes from dark to light to white. Now, this is the horizon. This means that if in front of us here, in front, okay, we have uh, the beach and the sun, and the sun is coming down because it's a uh, sunset, the sun will be around this area because this is the horizon line. You understand the horizon line and that's why and that's why I put my spot exactly here so that's my sun it's the sun You see? Then I can put another little spot there and another little one here.
You see? Now I take my white pencil and I make a white line here. Why? Because this is separating the last part of my cylinder before it's touching the ground. And on that spot, we have also a highlight. You see? Yes, Eric, it's right. And that's why every time I make my sketches, um, renderings, whatever I do, I always think that uh, the light, the sun, it's at the sunset around 6 or 7 p.m. Now that's the best way I do. So now, now that I explained the cylinder, you understand why all those spots are put there. Because this is the first cylinder, this is the second one. My question was a little different. Oops, sorry. It was about how the reflection of the sun appeared twice on the same plane. So it's not applying twice. It's applying only once. This is a cylinder, one. This is another one. That's why you have it twice. And this little spot, it's just a reflection of what it's inside the car. If you have, a, a, for example, a chrome bar here, you will get a spot there. I will make the section. I think the best way is to put sections because unless it's difficult to understand. My car, it's like that, comes down, so that's the first cylinder. Then there is the highlight, okay, like that. Here we have the wheel, okay? So this is, until the belt line, it's my first cylinder. This one. Then I have another one. That is this one, which is the glass, this one. And as you can see, this has an orientation that is like that. But this one has a different orientation. You understand? Then on that reflection is where the surface changes direction. Yes, exactly. So that's why here you have a look. Let's get back the sketch. According to the section, that's why here you have a big reflection. You see from here to here. And on this one, you have a smaller reflection. You know, very tiny. Because the orientation and the cylinder is different. So two, number one and number two, okay? I hope that this was, uh, what about the reflection of the sun on the rocker panel? The rocker panel, this one, because of that, look. Facing the light. You understand? That's the highlight, the pool of light on the rocker panel. And this little one, this little one, it's this one, look. It's that radius that is picking up the light because it's turning. And it's the last line picking up the light from the car before it gets into a real shadow. Okay. I hope that it was clear, but that's reflections, theory, theory of reflections.
I washed my brush, okay? So you can uh, you can check again like that. Very nice. They look nice, both of them. But anyway, by the way, you know, uh, there are several videos I made on my channel where I talk about reflections. And there is one that is called Reflections Explained that was a lie with pictures of real cars that explain all this. So go check it out, that, that video, please. The smallest one is a reflection of the light that... Exactly. Yes, yes, Fernandez. Yes. Thanks a lot for explaining. I thought a reflection of a plane can appear only once. When if the yeah, exactly now I understand. Good. I'm still learning about it. That's great, Raja. That's great. I'm very happy for you. Fernandez, molte grazie, Luciano. Amazing drawings. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. So I I hope that you're gonna have a, a very good weekend, a very good week. We're going to meet here again next week, uh, here, the same time, Friday. You can become a member of this channel and get a specific video only for members once a week. Okay? Very interesting and relaxing after a hard week of work. I can imagine. I love it. Thank you, Luciano. Thank you very much for being with me. Spread the word. Put your likes because that helps me a lot. I need the likes. Okay? And if you didn't see yet uh, the video, car design, where is it going? Please go and check it out because that video, it's rocking. Okay? Roberto, great tutorial, John. Thanks. Thank you very much. Grazie. You are welcome. One, two, three. Grazie.